Okay, that's not supposed to happen. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today's diesel day. And I was dropped a Ford excursion with the 6.0 diesel in it. Now, we got some issues with this 6.0 diesel. Go figure. Ford, having issues? Hmm. Okay, yes, I'm a Chevy guy. But I am a diesel guy, so we're going to take care of this problem. Well, okay. That's not supposed to happen. Now, the reason why that happens is because on high mileage uh, diesels like this, Ford decided to make the fuel filter housing, cap that is, uh, out of plastic. Now, when heat gets to that plastic over time, what does heat do to plastic? It gets brittle and it breaks. So, probably the last mechanic who worked on this probably tried to replace that uh, fuel filter. Uh, yeah, try to replace the fuel filter. And in the process, they broke the thing because they probably put that half inch um, extension on it. And then when they went to turn it, it cracked and didn't even tell the customer he cracked it. That's the only way that stuff's gonna happen is if somebody turns it with that half inch uh, ratchet or extension or what have you and breaks it. And then they don't tell the customer. That's absolutely ridiculous. At least own up to your mistake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna replace that and we're gonna go ahead and replace that plastic one, which is the oil filter housing, fuel filter housing, oil filter housing. And I got a major upgrade that I suggest all 6.0 diesel owners should do. And by the way, diesel engines do not like air in the fuel system. So this is one of the reasons why this thing had such problems trying to start because it had a crack in the fuel cap a fuel filter cap that is and it was sucking air yes it will suck air diesels and air in the fuel system don't work so make sure your fuel system is closed sealed so you won't have any problems so let's go ahead and probably have to chisel that thing off that's probably what I'm gonna have to do because uh, they broke that thing pretty good. You see that right there? <sighs> Let's get to it. What I mean by chisel it off, get yourself a flat tip screwdriver or a chisel and we're probably gonna have to tap that plastic, tap it, tap it, tap it, so we can get that thing to start spinning because uh, as you can see, yeah, that's pretty much not gonna work. Getting a major hole right there. So, uh, of course, when you're chiseling this thing, make sure you don't hit the uh, housing itself because, like everything else, it's made out of aluminum. So, uh, we're going to. Uh, If you have to destroy it, go ahead and destroy it because it's already broke. It's not going back on. Yeah, that sucks. Man, somebody must have put this thing on really tight. And if you look down here, it says 14 Newton meters of torque. Well, I guess going to keep chiseling this damn thing. There we go. 
got that thing to move. Just light, light taps, light taps, light taps. Because the more pieces you break off, the more pieces you're going to be fishing out of this uh, filter housing. See if we can see through it. Yeah, I think we can. Actually, here's a better view. Yeah. And I can actually see through the center here. I don't know if you can see that. That's a no-go. Look at that. There's a sign of over tightening, tightening the cap, crush the fuel filter. <laughs> Amazing. Now we're gonna take the oil filter uh, housing cap off too because we're gonna replace that also. Make sure you get your 36 millimeter. That is the proper socket for this. And uh, go ahead and take that off. back a little bit on it and it'll pop right off. Phew. Got that off without breaking it. Now I told you we got a fix for this stuff. See that old brittle plastic? Why do you want to go through that trouble again? Guess what? We're going to get rid of this crap. We're going to put some billet in there. Some bling. This Will not crack, will not break. Just put some bling in it. I'm just kidding. Why would you want to put bling on a Ford? But, you know, that's my personal opinion. But anyways, like I said, put some billet in there. You won't have no problems. Cool thing about this set is that all you performance mod guys, you want to know your fuel pressure, bam. It's got that right there, that straighter valve. And then it's got the oil radar valve oil pressure fuel pressure if you want to check it but what we're gonna do we're gonna put those little screws in there because uh, I don't know if this guy really wants that in there but we're just gonna put the little bungs in there screw them down and install these things and make sure you put your o-rings in and if you want to pick up a set like I did I'll have a link in the description below on how to grab some, or grab a set rather. Not too bad. It's under a hundred bucks. I mean, you know, save a heartache of uh, being on the side of the road and your vehicle not starting, or getting busted by the EPA because you're dropping diesel fuel all over the, all over the road. I think it's a good investment. Like I said, check out the link. Get shit right to you. Okay. First up, let's do the oil filter cap. Make sure you put your O-ring on. There we go. Oops. Sorry. 
over here. There we go. Now gently slide this thing on. It's a little bit spring loaded, so don't be alarmed. Make sure you don't cross start it. Or you can just take it out and snap it on so you don't have to worry about it. Grab your 36 again. There we go. You have to overly tighten it because you can break this aluminum, believe me. I've seen it happen. Take your uh, 3 16 Allen. Go ahead and install that right there on the top. There we go. Next, take your fuel filter cap, put your O-ring on. All right, here we go. Make sure it sits in the groove just like that. You don't want this thing to leak, believe me. All right, now, let's go ahead. Just, just start the thing. Take your 24 millimeter socket. Couldn't find my socket, so just got a 24 millimeter wrench. And then we just start tightening it down slowly like this. Make sure you don't pinch the O-ring. That'll suck. And once again, put your 316 Allen bung or tiny cap, whatever you want to call it. All right. Don't overly tighten this because you don't want to strip it. Well, now that we got the Ford Bling in, let's start this thing up, see if they leak. I have faith in you, Ford. I have faith in you, Power Stroke. You're not gonna leak, right? All right. Let's energize the fuel for a second there. Don't wanna get demonetized, so let's turn that radio off.
wouldn't it figure the battery's dead Ford okay round number two the only way to get a Ford started is to jump it with a Chevy anyways let's go all right let's start this mug up all right there we go diesel power even though it's a ford still diesel power all right let's see if we got any leaks Isn't that a better upgrade? I have to say. Get yourself some food. Or bling. Depending on what part of the country you're from. Well, even though the Chevy jumped the Ford and got it running, upon further review and inspection, found out that this thing had a bad alternator. So, what I have to do, went ahead put some more bling in it put a new alternator in it and a new uh, uh, belt tensioner new belt now this power stroke should be able to run for another uh, two days maybe I'm just kidding Ford guys I do like Fords some of them some of them but anyways we got this thing running like it's supposed to no fuel leaks, thank God. Since when has a 6.0 power stroke not be able to do any burnouts? <laughs> Maybe I'm just doing it wrong. Who knows? Well, anyways, with all that being said, we saved another Ford from its demise. And yes, I talk a lot of crap about Fords, but it's still a diesel, still near and dear to my heart, diesel-wise, not Ford. But anyways, now guys, if you need that fuel filter cap and that oil filter cap and not have problems in the future, make sure you check out the description below. Get yourself some. Trust me, you won't be disappointed. Go ahead and grab one. And uh, if you enjoyed this episode of Gas Diesel Garage, I implore you to uh, like, subscribe, comment, give me some hate about Chevy. Guess it doesn't matter. Anyways. Till next time, we'll see you next time. Peace. I believe this thing won't even do donuts. <laughs>